So our guest today is Maddie.、Uh, she is a student at the university, and at the same time, she volunteers at our virtual senior center. And Maddie has been performing musicals for a very long time, and is excited to share her stories. And we are now talking online. Welcome, Maddie. Hi, yeah. Thanks for having me.、Um, I'm Maddie Gwinner. I am going into my junior year at the University of Arkansas. I'm studying political science and international studies、um, with a concentration in peace, security, and human rights. And then I'm minoring in legal studies with the hope of going to law school. And yeah, I volunteer here as well. Thank you so much for your brief introduction. So, would you also like to tell our audience what class do you teach and how long you've been with the VSC? Yeah, so I teach.、Um, they're called like Broadway deep dives. So every week I pick a Broadway musical and I go really in depth,、um, not only with the plot but sort of behind the scenes, what kind of issues they ran into, how they were able to overcome it,、um, sort of the legacy of that musical. And it's been a really fun way for me to learn a lot about the shows that I've always loved、um, and to share that with other people. That that sounds very interesting and also impressive. I think our members really like it because they have lots of passion and interest in so many aspects. So also when Carmela told me that you've been playing musicals for as long as you've been able to walk, I was really surprised because almost from the childhood to adulthood, that's a really long time. So you really have such a Passion and enthusiasm toward this thing.、Um, based on it, so why did you decide to volunteer at the Virtual Senior Center? Yeah, so it's kind of weird. I started volunteering with the Virtual Senior Center in 2020.、Um, so obviously, we were all in quarantine. I'd done a lot of one-off volunteering things before. I'd done like food drives and different food pantries and things like that. But I really wanted to find a place where I could come back consistently and form relationships with the people that I was、um, like serving and and see that impact in real time. But of course, I couldn't go anywhere because it was 2020, and so I was looking、yeah. online for. Opportunities where I could, you know, be a volunteer but not necessarily leave my house, and I found, you know, the virtual senior center, which, I mean, to my understanding, was a thing long before COVID,、um, right? So、yeah. I thought that was really cool. It wasn't something that, you know, was a reactive thing. It was something that had been going for a hot minute, and I, I really did find my home here. I'm really, I'm really glad that I stumbled across it. It also can say that、um, it's very hard for people to do things during the pandemic. And online community is really important during that time for everyone to interact. So I'm happy you found this place to develop your passion here. Through all these classes,、uh, how do you prepare for your class? I look at all sorts of interviews from the original cast, and that's how I find a lot of those stories that I think are really fun. Like when things go wrong on stage that you don't necessarily notice, those interviews are a great way to find stuff like that. I also find all sorts of like original cast recordings. Um, and sometimes that's easier said than done. Some of the musicals I'm looking at are from like the 50s, so they don't have the best、um, like recordings. Even if I find them, it's you know, is this gonna translate on Zoom? Because we all、yes. know Zoom quality intends to go down, and I I don't want to show like a blurry screen for three minutes. <laughs> so that's always a, a tough thing to work out. And I think that's probably the majority of my my research is looking into like finding authentic things from the musicals, but also not sacrificing quality at the same time. I think at this point I found a pretty good balance,、um, and I've started to pick shows that are you know a little bit more recent、um, things. The seventies, just because they have better quality、um, that I can show people. Through your words, I also can feel that high energy through our members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, they really like this thing and they want to engage with it, and they also have like just as I said, so many passions toward everything. And、uh, yeah, thank you for bringing these things to these members. So, come to our next question. Do you have any favorite memories from the members? When I started here, I really was looking for a place where I could, you know, see my impact and, you know, come back to the same people every week and really grow with them almost. And I think I've I've really been able to do that here, which I I'm so grateful for. They make me feel like I have a sense of community as much as you know I'm providing that for them, and it's really awesome. Even in those moments 
right before class starts uh, to see everyone talking and, you know, catching up about, you know, how their dog's doing and, you know, if they got to watch the latest version of whatever show they're watching. Um, Like that kind of stuff is so special and it's so human. And I think being able to provide that for, you know, people who might not necessarily always have that space is so, so important because people make you happy. And I'm, I'm just glad to, you know, help create that sense of community. I would say probably one of my favorite memories is anytime I show a musical or a part of a musical and they get to say, oh, I was in that musical or, oh, I played that character. And then we all get to sort of relive it from their perspective. And, you know, it kind of takes me outside of the notes that I've created for the day. And, and it gives them a chance to talk about when they did the musical and how they did it. And I think that's really what it's all about. Like as much as I'm talking to them, I like it when they're able to, you know, relate to the things that I'm showing them. So those are always my favorite memories. That's so attractive. I think it's a kind of interaction between you and them. Uh, and <laughs> you like exchange the passion, also emotions. I think that's a kind of support here. And you also mentioned you majoring in politics, science and international relations and uh, attend, will attend law school later. So uh, why did you choose your current major and how do you keep your passion for playing musicals at the same time? You know, as much as I've been drawn to musicals, I've also always been very drawn to politics um, and sort of yes. how things play out on a world stage. I, I think it's very important, the things that are happening. And I think it's something to be aware of. Um, so I, I do really enjoy studying it. That being said, I think musicals have always kind of been that escape for me. Um, I think we can get really caught up and really worried when we're we're only looking at the bad um, and what's going on in the world. And, you know, it's important to yes. look at what's bad and and to help fix it but i think sometimes taking a step back um and like recentering ourselves allows mm -hmm. us to better work um going forward so for me that's always been musicals um they've allowed me to take a step back to recenter myself um and sort of go off in a fantasy world for a little bit before i'm back to you know studying for my my current events class or whatever it is. Um, so that's sort of how I've kept my passion. It's, you know, playing the songs when I walk into class or, you know, watching a, a video of, of a performance, like that kind of stuff really does yes. bring you know, what can be sort of a, a really like heavy major. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I've kept my passion. Yeah, I think I can really relate with this point. Sometimes when I keep on doing what I'm doing, like my work, like my study, I will feel tired. <laughs> and also, yeah. I might need something like to read me up. So yeah, I also find my interest and my passion, like, like a exit of the life for us to keep on living better. Come to our last question. Uh, is there anything else that we didn't mention, but you'd like to share with us? What I found is, you know, as cheesy as it sounds, you really do make time for the things that you love. Um, it would have been very easy for me to, you know, take that step away from the virtual senior center my freshman year and never come back because, you know, certainly I have my hands full and there are times when I wish I could take another walk or go get ice cream with my friends. But it's it's important that, you know, I was called back to this and I, I really do, I did miss it the year that I was gone. And I, I certainly have found time for it um, because I love doing it. Um, and I think if I didn't have that passion for it, I wouldn't have come back. I'm doing it because I love it. And I see the same people every week. And it's just such a special program. I, I, I can't fathom not having that in my life. You know, the Virtual Senior Center does a ton of great work, um, as I'm sure the rest of self-help community services does. Um, it's really cool to see how you know, they're able to connect people all over the globe. Um, I'm always either in Missouri or in Arkansas when I'm doing my classes. And I would say the vast majority of the class participants are, you know, up in New York or they're in an Eastern time zone. Uh, yes. So they always tease me about what time it is when I tell them it's seven and they're like, no, it's eight. And I'm like, no, <laughs> seven. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's a really cool um Cool plays. I, I haven't seen anything like it. Um, and I think y'all are addressing a need that is often very overlooked. Um, you know, giving people that sense of community, even when they have to spend a lot of their time at home. So I'm just very grateful for it. Um, I'm glad I found my place here. And yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing everything with us. And also, we're really glad to hear that VSC gave you something and also interactions with the members here. So thank you for joining me and recording this episode together. This is the end of the episode and I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time.
Thank you for listening. If you're interested in any topics, you can leave a comment or find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hope you all have a great day and we'll see you next time.